Sheila de Tanserville. I'd sensed from the start that some dark mystery lay behind that cold countenance. Following the demise of the council and conclave, there was no one left to keep the mages in line. But regicide? Why? What was this all about? It seemed these questions would be answered at Loch Green, an ancient city of its mountains, the remnants of the civilization of the Vrams, whose dusk had come long ago. And you would be right to ask, why did you not set out for Loch Green, Master Dandelion? Vergen was free, yet what is freedom without its awareness? It might too easily pass from hand to hand were a nation to lack individuals capable of pointing the way. I remained in the Paltar Valley. That is the task fate seemed to assign me, to safeguard freedom as it budded and bloomed. Who knows, I may yet prove freedom's bard. Yet forever feeling a vast shared responsibility for the fate of the North, I dispatched to Loch Nguyen my faithful and capable friend, Geralt of Rivia. Have I mentioned his disdain for politics? Well, it was at Loch Nguyen where he could finally give vent to it. Evan, you're saying? Asir e varana hed. Me vold hocht en gehead vein. Me vertruv het en bellen grek. Vise den ip kieseret. Net en verb tene. Het een krise. Do you know what this is? I know. Who it is? Triss Marigold. Until recently, advisor to King Foltus. Artifact compression. A complicated spell. Is she alive? Her life processes are on hold. But it is reversible. Though... Very difficult. You created a portal between Loch Muin and Nilfgaard. You should manage the figurine. Stand back. I cannot be sure how her body will react to decompression. No pentagrams, candles, spilt blood. It figures you do know little about magic, Ambassador. It matters not. We need her alive, Asira. Make sure her body survives decompression well. I'll do what I can. But she will be disoriented for some time. What is your name? Uh -huh. Tell me your name. Triss! Wiese getocht gedein. Wiese es spät eb wovret. Dartocht eb nedling derien. Mehen a venens ep turin. Me perft in alverdeg. Marigold, your name is Triss Marigold. I recognize this valley. This path leads to the city gates. They're always there. Are there tracks everywhere? When were you here last? 
long time ago by your measure. These mountains have witnessed the fall of two civilizations. First out of the Rand, No, disease did, and the climate. Long ago, the sources of the Pontar did not lose only in flames. Flowers still bloom. Knights of the Flaming Rose at a peace summit. I wonder whose side they're on. On that of whoever paid them. You shouldn't let them see you. I know. To them, a good elf is a dead elf. It's not because you're an elf. It's because you're Yorvith. I'll try to enter the city through the caves. I'd advise you to do the same. The knights will know I'm wanted. You know of a passage? I know of a cave nearby. There are many ways to enter Loch Muin, my friend. If Radovid has summoned the Order, I'm certain the others have brought their armies as well. The city must be full of soldiers. All of them sitting as if on a witch's bomb, waiting for a spark. But that may be to our advantage. If the rulers have holed themselves up in camps, it should be easy to move about between them. Let's go before we get noticed. My medallion.
good you're here. Look what I found. Keep your distance. Already forgotten that a similar creature hung around my cave. There's a forested valley on the other side of the city, once teeming with wildlife. It's now dead. The royal delegations arrived here that way. I know. That's why we went around. What exactly killed the Vrans? As the years went by and the climate turned colder, the Vrans had less and less food. Their hunters descended to the lowlands where they encountered the first human settlers and their plagues, typhoons. Yes, the rams began to fall ill. They tried to save themselves, building an aqueduct and sewers that rivaled today. But it grew colder, and the canals remained frozen for most of the year. When the elves arrived, they encountered only ghosts, a dead city falling into ruin. The Enshe rebuilt it, restored its... We're in Loch Nguyen. We're on the fringes somewhere. We should find what we came for nearer the main court. Let's go.
more can there be? They gagged Philippa in the nick of time. She almost cast a spell, rotting in the Redanian dungeon now in special shackles. Radovid's right to show the witches their place. I wonder what they'll do to her. Either the execution or the monsters will have their fun. They say Logmuin's dungeons are full of scum of all kinds. No idea what they locked her up for, but every sorceress is guilty of something. True enough. Not likely to see anyone weeping for her. A dungeon befits Philippa Eilhard very well, though gallows would be even better. If they kill her, you can forget about healing Saskia. They must guard her as heavily as the Emperor's bedchamber. We'll not get in there. I'm in no hurry to visit the Emperor's bedchamber, but we've got to get into the dungeon. Look for a passage through the sewers. I'll locate Eilhard's quarters. If she didn't expect to be arrested, I may find something interesting there. The tunnels beneath the city sound reasonable. They used to lead almost everywhere, though some passages may have collapsed during the fires. It's still worth a shot. Let's go then. I'll find Philippa. You search her quarters. Right. We learned a lot the last time we browsed through her things. Va fail, Gwynblade. Wonder how many more will turn up. Medallion's telling me something.
You... here? What are you doing here? I worked awfully hard to see Philippa Eilhart in chains. I doubt you'll be so witty once we're standing side by side on the scaffold. Unlike you, I've done nothing that would get me hanged. To them, you're a Kingslayer. I assure you, Radovid's torturers will make you admit to anything. Even intercourse with trolls. Radovid's no idiot. He knows I'm innocent. Besides, I helped him once. Radovid is a politician. He'd gladly show the world he's an avenger of fallen kings. Sure, but before he does that, he'll gladly hear about your exploits in Vergen. By aiding the rebels, I weakened Henselt's position. And that's of paramount importance. Radovid is King of the Hill. He has the deciding vote during the summit, thanks, among others, to me. Is that why he dumped you in this dungeon? This, Witcher, is a little misunderstanding. Did you know from the start that Saskia was a dragon? I had suspected she was not what she seemed to be for some time, though I did not learn the truth until she fell poisoned and I could examine her thoroughly. I've seen the list of antidote ingredients. Not a word about the Rose of Remembrance. Well, we all prefer to have loyal allies. The Rose of Remembrance is very powerful. Even as a she-dragon, Saskia could not resist my spell. Why don't you summon her? You could use some help now. Dimeritium blocks all magic, telepathy included. Someone's coming. Your Majesty. I've waited long for this meeting. You left Redania so suddenly I had no chance to give you the send-off you so richly deserved. Your Majesty. I fail to understand why I have been arrested. I've done nothing but serve Redania's interests. Supporting the Rebellion, undermining Hensult, risking my own reputation on your behalf. I'm no longer the little boy who believed your every word. Why do you do this, Radovid? I was there at your most trying hours. Without me, you would not be the man you are. I don't understand. You understand very well. You conspired against my father, Vizimir, and against me. The entire Redanian court once trembled in fear of Philippa Eilhart. Untrue, sire. You must let me explain. What are your charges, your majesty? Ambassador. Triss Marigold was kind enough to compile a list of persons making up the secret society known as the Lodge of Sorceresses. Some Nilfgaardian sorceresses were members as well, but... You need not be bothered with them, my lady. Triss, you're mad! The Lodge ordered Demaven killed. It ordered Foltes killed. I suspect you played a part in my father's death. And if I released you from the Dimeritium, you'd kill me too. You're finished, Dialheart. There will be a trial, due process. Everything as it should be. But know that you shall not wriggle out of this. You shall be convicted of conspiracy, treason, and regicide. They'll rip your flesh from you in bits before they burn you at the stake. Throughout my childhood, I felt your cold stare on the back of my neck. When I issued orders, my subjects would search with their eyes for Philippa Eilhart's gesture of consent. The entire court at Tretagor looked on as you humiliated me. All Redania laughed behind my back. You taught me to look everyone in the eye. Forced them to lower their gaze, do you remember? A king must never show weakness, uncertainty, you said. I've mastered that skill. Yet there is one I could never force to submit. You. You've one chance to shorten your suffering. Admit to everything, here and now, in the Ambassador's presence. Look me in the eye and repent. Submit. As you wish. Torturer, put out those vile eyes. You're making a grave error, sire.
We will talk again, witch. I refused to believe it when they told me Geralt of Rivia was in my dungeon. The Geralt I know wouldn't let himself be captured. I was really hankering for a tour of your dungeon, sire. What's so interesting about it? The guests. I apologize for the dismal company you're in, Witcher. Fortunately, Isleheart won't be with us much longer. I beg your mercy, not for myself, but for Triss Marigold. Your friend is now in Ambassador Fitz Estelin's hands. I know, but surely Shillard won't deny you a small favor, sire. Forgive me, but I can't be sure that I won't require grander favors from Nilfgaard. The fate of entire nations will be decided in this city. Individuals are irrelevant. The Nilfgaardian ambassador mentioned an organization of sorceresses. Just so happens I'm interested in the plans of this lodge. Those plans should interest no one because the Lodge will soon cease to exist. I've nothing against you personally, Witcher, but you've gone from being an uninvited guest to being an awkward witness. I understand I'm in for an extended tour. You certainly shan't leave here before the summit ends. I'm flattered, sire, but you overestimate me if you think I could influence it in any way. Politics is like a complicated puzzle. Every piece may prove useful or equally useless, even harmful. A breakthrough awaits us here at Loch Muin, by my hand no less. This will be no second Thaned. Soon, everyone will learn what the Redanian King is capable of. You'll excuse me, but it's time for the summit. Radovid is capable, but too young. He has yet to understand that only the dead remain truly silent. Because Redania is doing Nilfgaard a favor, I feel obliged to help the king in return. Let Triss go. That would be foolish. If there truly is a place we go after leaving this Vale of Tears, you'll meet her there soon enough. Allow me to relieve the Redanian executioner. What favor do you mean? You can tell me, just like you said. The dead keep their secrets. That's true, but I prefer to be cautious. I promise to reveal every last detail as soon as your body is cold. Pity you won't live to see it. Loch Muin's in for a huge surprise, both the mages and the kings. Nobody likes others to decide for them. That's especially true of kings. You're dangerous, Witcher, and too independent. In time, Radovid will thank me, and he won't be alone. Kill him, but beware his sorcery. Hold him, heart. Out of here! I need some answers first. Where's Saskia? When I was arrested, she was with Sheila. They must be on their way to the deliberations by now. How does the spell work? Saskia's will and mine are one. She cannot resist me. But fear not. There's no suffering involved. She merely believes me to be the most wonderful person in the world. As if she were in love. You know what's most beautiful? In spite of all this, she seems unchanged. She's retained her charm, her valor, her honor. I didn't track you alone. Yorvith can't wait to see you again. My death would change little. Yorvith and all like him have no right to judge others. Was Schiller telling the truth about the Lodge, the assassinations? He said exactly what Radovid wanted to hear. Half-truths, musings stripped of context, which differ very little from lies. Did Triss take part in all this? 
She's clean in those terms. Innocent as a child, but only to a point. I assure you, she has not been honest with you about many other matters. Why did all this happen? Murdering monarchs, what interests did it serve? I can't fathom. Help me get out of here and I'll explain all and lift the spell from Saskia. Take these shackles off me and lead me to my house. I beg you. I'll tell you everything. Everything. Clock's ticking. Time is of the essence. Why do you do this? Would you take vengeance on a blind woman? Shillard said they've got Triss. I have to free her before they put out her eyes too. Going to the Nilfgaardian camp is suicide. And leaving a friend is villainy. Only I know how to break the spell that holds Saskia. Get me out of here. If I die, she'll remain forever spellbound. <laughs>